This is all the latest news and gossip. Hey everyone, this is Tierra Marie, and today I'm coming to you all as the highly anticipated versus Instagram live battle between Teddy Riley and Babyface has again been rescheduled. This time it will take place on Monday. Music producer Swizz Beats, who organized the battle alongside music producer Timbaland, announced the rescheduled event on his Instagram, saying, let's get back to the love of music this Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Less will be more and sounds will be fixed. Sound checks done. So y'all, let's just hope that's true. The battle attempted to happen on live Saturday night, and it was nothing the internet expected, but just may have been everything we needed because it brought so many jokes to the world. If you missed it, more than 400,000 people, including tons of celebrities, tuned in for the live, which lasted a little more than an hour. Unfortunately, we could tell Teddy Riley was more so prepared for a full-on living room performance with a crew, cameraman, a few microphones, a DJ, and just the whole shebang. It was crazy. Meanwhile, Babyface was just chilling in his studio. The whole live was a mess, and most of it was spent troubleshooting. One thing a lot of people thought was funny about the whole thing was that both Teddy and Babyface are, of course, up in age. And as you all know, it's a common thing for older people to not be the best when it comes to technology. So with Riley being 53 and Babyface being 62 and neither of them being able to figure out what's going wrong, the jokes were practically writing themselves. My thing is maybe Babyface was just being nice because to the audience, they knew exactly what the issue was. Teddy needed to simplify his setup and go down to just a speaker, a phone or computer, and a mic, if that. That was another thing a lot of people thought was funny, the fact that Teddy was trying to blame the issues on Babyface when he's the one who had the super complicated setup. When they tried to blame Babyface, I was dying. They was like, Babyface. It's on your side. Whatever you doing over there, that that's what turn your mic down. Babyface was like, I ain't got no mic. I, I I ain't got no. I literally just got the headphones and like uh, the phone. I ain't got no mic. But no, what, whatever it is you got going over, that's what's that's what's causing the echo. It's you, Babyface. Babyface, no, nah, man. I literally, I just got the headphones and ain't no mic over here. Oh. Oh, whatever you just did, baby face, whatever you just did right there, it, it, it made the sound better over here. I literally did nothing. That was the funniest thing. I was like, they don't know what's going on. Over there. You know why they didn't know what was going on over there? Because they was doing too much to begin with. They was doing too much to begin with. <laughs> Shout out to Tony Baker Comedy. Follow him on Instagram. His page is hilarious. I will say an unpopular opinion, though, that it's very possible that Babyface's live was the cause of the echo because it didn't start until Babyface joined, and I've seen something like that happen before. But overall, I will say that I agree with most of you all on the fact that Teddy was doing way too much. But I think we also just have to respect the fact that his heart was in the right place. He has a perfectionist spirit and was just trying to entertain us during the pandemic the best way he knew how. After Babyface and Teddy's live went off, Swiss Beats and Timbaland started their own live to talk about where things went wrong. Take a look. Yeah, they just gotta keep it simple. No, I rig. Just your iPhone and your hits. That's it. All this doing too much, fellas, we can't do too much. Just keep it simple. The people already know what they're going to get. You understand? Once you start going overboard, this is IG Live. This is not the garden. You know, I know it's five stadiums worth of people, 10 stadiums worth of people tonight, but less is more. We got to keep it less is more. You know what I'm saying? And this is and, and Teddy gonna see this and he gonna understand what this is. And that's my brother. He's he's a he's a wizard. But Teddy, less is more. Tell your team, less is more. Let's less get baby face. Let's more. get Teddy Riley. Let's turn this around quick. Immediately. 
no hype man face was in there by itself ready to go to war with greatness okay all them people that's doing too much dtm doing too much the hits was already made all you got to do is project them that's it man you know what i'm saying don't 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 judge us on this one time out because y'all been having we've been having a great time you know what i'm saying so uh, let's uh, keep the energy time. you know there's only so much we can do but i feel like you know we had to throw in that towel we had to yeah we gotta throw the towel in you gotta throw the towel in after watching their live one thing i just have to ask is what did swiss and timbaland do as their part in this whole versus battle they're getting most of the credit for them but what truly are their roles in this whole thing besides being the originators first i tried to think of them as promoters like they're promoting a boxing match i've definitely seen them doing that part but is that it because doing because during their live they're saying how much effort they put into this whole thing but at the same time saying what little involvement they had with everything until things started going awry and they started receiving phone calls. They should have told Teddy from the beginning to have a simple setup, but it seems like they didn't even know he had all of that planned until they saw it with the rest of us. Towards the beginning of the video, I mentioned how the internet made this situation into one of the best jokes ever. So I'll end on a positive note and let you all see some of the hilarious things people had to say. This includes posting videos from Tony Braxton, Tamar Braxton, Kev on stage, Charlemagne and God, Lil Duval, and even Adele, who people caught in the live battles comments. So stay tuned for that. Lastly, I just want to say that as funny as this whole thing did turn out, please don't take these two R&B hip hop legends as a joke. There are technical difficulties in every form of entertainment and media, and thanks to them, we got laughs on Saturday and Sunday. And now we'll have the chance to enjoy the battle today. So that's three days of entertainment right there. Just saying. Now take a look at these funny posts and videos. Teddy, stop performing. Stop performing, Teddy. Put the mic down. Pick your iPhone up and just play off your phone. Stop performing. In fact, tell baby face, hey baby face, play Taylor Riley music for him. <laughs> Comments now. Uh, I don't my see brain them. app keep going off. Everybody keep coming over here. Like, get it together, man. That's plenty loud enough. I can hear. Yep, yep.
tripping on my cords. Who is that on my door anyway? What? Hey, hey, we're the, we're the background dancers that uh, Teddy Riley. Hey, man, the live is over, man. Get out. Okay. distancing we all should be whenever you're ready yeah. seniority nigga you first you having technical difficulties What's wrong? You have too many people over there. You guys playing poker? Because you have a full house. <laughs> you need a minute? Alright, let's go this. Tell me out all your motherfuckers in here. Don't nobody know jack shit? Don't nobody know nothing? What up with this? <laughs> Somebody got to know something was going on. See what I'm saying? Ain't that right, G-Money? Yeah, I think G-Money definitely knows something. Yeah. Thank you. No, thank you so much. Um, I had a really good time, and I do appreciate everything, but I, I just, I'm so busy. I really, really have to go. So, um, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, I think the fuck not. <laughs> If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share this video to someone else who cares. Bye!